G'day there folks, Andrew Griffiths here, how you doing? Uh, I'm the international best-selling author of 14 business books, all about how to help you be more successful in business. I've been writing for many, many years, and, uh, and I've had the great uh, honor of having my books published in many different languages, sold in 65 countries around the world. So, what do I want to talk about today? Well, I've got a, a topic that, uh, that I always find interesting. I want, I want to share a story with you. And uh, this is really about the concept of creating a compelling competitive advantage. Many years ago, uh, I was asked to, uh, to travel to Outback Queensland uh, on a government program to help a number of businesses in, uh, in the Gulf of Carpentaria area. This is around towns called Croydon, Georgetown, Corumba, um, really, you know, pretty wild kind of places. And uh, a list of people that uh, I was asked to go and see and really just to give them advice on what it is that they need to do, perhaps to attract more business. It was a really growing, burgeoning kind of uh, tourist area. So there was lots and lots of opportunity as tourists with their caravans and their fishing boats all loaded up, drove along. My first port of call was a general store uh, in Croydon. And, uh, and I found this place on the map and I've arrived at, at this ramshackle old store. Now, to paint the picture there, it, it was run by this old lady called Pat and she'd been running it forever and she was tough as nails. And as you can imagine what she was probably like, you know, if there was, she was sitting on the veranda with a shotgun in a rocking chair, you'd be pretty close. But one part of this business um, was closed. So there's a double frontage in this old building. And what had happened was, it was a, been a general store forever. And uh, one part of it got so full of crap that they just closed it and opened up the other side. And, uh, and, and I went in to see this lady, and of course she was cynical, skeptical. Who's this buddy, you know, who's this bloke from the city who's gonna tell me what to do? Anyway, it was interesting standing there and kind of watching and getting a feel. I always like to look at the outside of a business and see what's going on. There were no redeeming features for this place, but what I did notice were that there were there were four-wheel drives and and buses driving by on this you know fairly popular kind of tourist route. And uh, Pat, man, she just was so grumpy. She said they drive by, they never stop, you know, or they stop, they have a look inside, and then you know they jump back in their car and they go again. And uh, uh, didn't have the heart to tell her that maybe maybe she was part of the problem, but. In reality, there was no reason to stop there apart from an ice cream sign out the front, which she you know, sold a few ice creams because it's freaking hot out there in the middle of summer. But there was no real compelling competitive advantage for her to stop. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and in fact, that's why they didn't. So I kind of said to her, you know, why would they bother stopping here? And you know, we've got to give them a reason. So the first thing we did was we looked at this this shut down part of the business and, and I walked through there and it was literally you could just walk through it but it was filled with all this old mining equipment and agricultural stuff that was literally well over a hundred years old and to all intents and purposes it actually did look like a bit of a time capsule and a museum so the first thing we need to do is we've got to open this up and put a big sign out the front and say museum free entry okay first thing we did and, uh, and, and I love that. The second thing was, okay, what else can we do? What are the other compelling competitive advantages that we might have here? And I, and I thought, this, has been a, this place has been here for a long time. Um, you know, how, how long has it been around for? And I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's been around forever. And I said, is it the oldest general store in Queensland? And uh, Pat said, I think, it, I think it is. And I went, well, that's good enough for me. I'm a marketing guy. I did a bit of research and it, and it really was the, the, still the surviving oldest general store in Queensland. So we organized some signs, museum, free entry, oldest general store in Queensland, and uh, put the signs up. I rang her a week later, it took a while to get the signs, of course, and, uh, and she said, all of a sudden, everyone is stopping. We've given them a reason to stop. She's got two, of, her problem now is there's not enough room in the place. It gets full of people and, and now she's cranky because there's too many people. She's got to buy more stock, she's got to do this. A good problem to be had. But really, the moral to the story there is very, very simple. Nondescript business, same as everyone else, same ice cream sign out the front. We'll just keep going to the next one. There's no reason to stop. We gave two very compelling reasons to stop. One, it's a place of interest. 
it's free. Any parent with a carload of kids like something that's free. It's interesting, it's historical. You know, you wanna take a photo out the front of the oldest general store in Australia, all right? So that is no different to your business or to my business. Do, do I have a compelling competitive advantage? Do I give people a reason to stop at my shop? The reality is that for many businesses, they don't. And it doesn't matter whether you're an accountant, whether you're an author, whether you're a speaker, whether you're a butcher, you know, whether you're a, whatever it might be, you've got to be able to really clearly define a compelling competitive advantage that's gonna differentiate you from your competitors, but even bigger than that, it's gonna really give your customers, potential customers, a big reason to use you. So my question to you is, what is your creative, or your, sorry, your compelling competitive advantage, your CCA, what is it? And if it's not compelling enough, they'll just drive by, whether that's metaphorically or whether that's you know, really drive by, um, you know, that's up to you. Geography is not enough anymore. Being found online is not enough anymore, okay? There's a lot more to it. All right, that's it folks. If you wanna find out more, my YouTube channel, or go to www.andrewgriffiths.com. You can find me and I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, love to connect. All right, take care guys, bye-bye.